Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today is another organic video without a script. Motivation is... No, that's not what I was going to go with. My brain, I had a thought in my head and it kind of like fluttered by. Of, right, um, I know there are going to be other people who are afraid to be out of their comfort zone, to worry about their quality of their content, their videos, their speech, whatever it may be. Go ahead, do what you want to do. Find your passion, do it no matter what, and as you do it more and more and more, you will gain more power, thereby more passion into what you do. Passion is power, power is passion, light is passion, passion is light. Whoever tries to knock you down saying you're a robot, ignore them, push on, obviously they cannot feel your powerful energy or notice you were sick. Even when you're sick, you, you still push, still push content no matter what. And going back, I have progressed from camera shy microphone shy to being animate and having full energy on camera unlike before I was monotoning a lot reading a script um, but again that makes me unique to me having a certain tone to myself how to stand out you do you you can figure it out as you go or just you know, do what you want, like I am. Me, I do whatever I want, and my vibe is how I stand out. My tone is how I stand out. People can hate it, or they can love it. But never let them, these negative comments, get to you. Obviously, the universe was trying to teach me something. I found the lessons, even if the video was out of uh, out of order by order i mean chrono chronology however you say that word meaning video one should have been number two video two should have been number one i should have watched the video first therefore i would have known hey i was sick therefore my energy was off and why i was mono tone in, mono, one tone, robot, and would have realized, you know what, my videos in the past were monotone in when I read because I was learning how to read fluently, to how to be fluent in my energy on video. I needed to find my ground my frequency i always i beat myself up in the past about freaking out about am i ever going to find my voice in videos am i ever going to be the opposite of monotone will i find my voice will i find my frequency my vibe in videos and you know what in the beginning I, that always worried me. I pushed forward. Look what I am doing today from the 25th and 26th. My energy is back to normal from an energy shift, from a cold, from a break. I did not record anything for a week. And my energy is finally back to normal. I am animate. I am powerful in my videos now more than I used to be and that is how I progressed. I used to worry a lot. Do not let your worry get to you. 
always push forward, eventually you will break out of your boundary you set and your new boundary will be your new comfort zone, if that makes sense. Again, I am being more motivational, I am being more inspirational, I am being more powerful. Because once again, my blogs are meant for motivation, inspiration, sharing wisdom, sharing knowledge. They're for guiding you, reminding you of something you may have forgotten when you reincarnated into this new life. I am bringing back memories, maybe or a familiar vibe, whatever it may be, I am here reminding you of your power, your love, your magic. You do you and everything will follow. Do not let your fears stop you from doing what you want to love. Because in that passion of what you are doing, that will become your new comfort zone and you will be more animate, less fearful, and be more courageous. I hope that makes more sense. Actually, I didn't like this ending comment to the last video that I made on this subject and this line of videos I have uploaded today. I like this one the best. It makes perfect sense. I wish I did this first, but it is what it is. Out of order, again, but things happen for a reason. Me teaching you, showing you my experiences, and hopes that you do not make the same mistake or you too can learn what I have learned, whatever it may be. Again, I shared my lessons learned being all powerful, sharing that with you. If I am powerful, you will feel it. It will amp you up. Maybe I probably, I don't know. I, I'm not you to know, but in theory, if I am amped up, you are pumped as well. And therefore you also are rewarded with power and light and love. My aura affects you. Aura does affect people. Just keep that in mind. You are energy, you are vibration, you are love. Love frequency, higher vibes. You are powerful, you are magical, you are divine. Let nothing stop you from doing what you want to do. Always push forward. Do not let your feels stop you. Again, I beat myself up over my, what word did I use? Hesitant. I was hesitant and I beat myself up for it and I am over that. This is now my new comfort zone. Being on camera. At first I was camera shy. I was nervous. I had a stage fright. I was hesitant. That showed. I was forcing me to talk. Therefore, I had a blockage and my throat chakra I had to overcome. Now I am fluent in what I do. Even, well, my energy, if I was lower or sick, my energy would not be up this level, at this level. How, brain, you're going too fast. Oh my God. What I am trying to say is even when I am sick, even when my energy is lower, I still post content and was happy to do what I did. My energy may have not been 100% and I was not as fluent because of being sick with a cold. Naturally, you will not want to record when you are sick, however, I pushed during that time and knew that is why I was more monotonin because of my cold, because my energy was lower. 
However, I personally know that. I battled through it, came out, now my energy is back to normal, I am more animate. Keep that in mind, when you are sick, you may not have the same energy level, you may not feel as powerful. But, even when you are sick, even when your energy is low, you are still love, you are still powerful, you are still courageous. Do what you do, no matter what, even when you are sick. But, if you can't move, that sucks, you could just feel it. Oh my god, I need, I desperately want to make something. That's what I felt for a week when I did not push content for a week. It was driving me nuts. I was like, oh my god, I need to make something. I need to make something. Because that passion was driving me to make content. And then I happened to get sick right after I started back up. After a week of absence. So I pushed forward. I made more content even when I was sick. But... Say, for, okay, for an example, what happens when you're in bed, like a hospital bed, with a cast, you can't move, or something, and then what? Oh my god, I can't do anything. What then? Cope. You have to find something to cope. Remind yourself when you get out, you can do what you want to do. Do not let anything stop you or hold you back, even if it is driving you crazy, because that craziness, that feeling of, oh my god, I need to make something, but I can't because I have a broken leg or something, then that that crazy emotion, feeling of, oh my god, I need to make something, will push you harder, will push you to do better, to do more. Again, passion drives you and I see that now and that's another lesson learned that I was not trying that I did not see until this video so yeah nothing but good powerful messages today as well so that that's good well I compile these videos into one maybe Though they would be out of order because I did read <coughs> two, mm. I did read two blogs, so it's kind of like a hodgepodge mess again, but it is what it is. Today's work was awesome. I am still pushing forward, no matter what, trying to add something new. Actually, I'm going to do a quick video for an, eh, what I'm wearing, so be right back. Excellent. I am cutting the video into a second. Uh, how many parts is this? I don't even know. Second part coming up after this. Except it will be a, a video in its own. Unless I compile these. Then this will make sense. If not, then... See you in the next video. Actually, that's what I was looking for. Brain? Oh, you're going too fast. <laughs>